Hey, my name is Laura with Our Oily House, and today I'm going to be talking about doTERRA's top 10 essential oils, their uses and benefits, and the best way to get them into your home. I have been using essential oils for over five years now, and about a year ago I decided I wanted to teach others about essential oils and share my experiences with you. I am a doTERRA wellness advocate, and today I'm gonna to be teaching my natural solutions class. Essential oils are cold pressed or distilled from plants. They can come from the bark, the stem, the leaf, the peel of a fruit. Since essential oils come from plants, obviously they have been around forever, and in the ancient days, people used these as medicines and remedies before modern medicine. It seems like in recent years, people are wanting to get back to that natural lifestyle that our ancestors lived a long time ago. And people are getting more interested in herbs and essential oils and natural healing. I started using essential oils in my home when I had my first child and I wanted to have natural solutions for her whenever she was sick or whenever she scraped her knee. And I also really wanted to help get rid of toxins out of my home. And so I got my oils to really start using them to make cleaning products, bath soaps for her, lotions, and just so I could start living a healthier, more natural lifestyle. Essential oils are natural aromatic compounds that are abstracted from plants and distilled for their health benefits. Essential oils are extremely potent. They're 50 to 70 times more potent than herbs. It takes 28 cups of peppermint tea to equal one drop of peppermint essential oil. This makes essential oils very affordable, making them only cost pennies per dose. I love using essential oils as a natural approach to illness because they provide complex and versatile abilities to combat threats without building up and resistant like modern medicine can. I am by no means against doctors. I love that we have medicine and that we can run to that whenever there's an emergency situation, but I love having the option of going to my essential oils when I can rather than always having to run to the doctor. The really cool thing about essential oils, they can actually pass through the cellular membrane and work with the body to address root causes on a cellular level. When I very first started using essential oils, I realized that you can find essential oils pretty much everywhere. I noticed that they're in Walmart, they're in gas stations, you can find them online, you can buy them anywhere. And I also noticed that there was a big price range in these essential oils. So I started doing my own research to decide what essential oil company I wanted to go with. When I was researching, I realized that the FDA actually has no regulations on essential oils. So whenever you go to the store to buy an essential oil, it can say it's 100% pure lemon essential oil and it might not actually be because there's no regulations on that. So after doing lots of research, I decided that doTERRA was gonna be the essential oils I use for a couple different reasons. The first reason was because they are certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils, which means there are no added fillers, no contamination, and no chemicals added into these bottles of essential oils. The second reason why I decided to go with doTERRA is because each one of these oils goes through rigorous testing before being put into a bottle. Every single one of doTERRA's oils has a number on the bottom where you can actually go to a website called source to you and type this in and you can actually view the results of these tests that are done by a third party lab. So you can be assured that your essential oil is pure and free of additives, fillers, and chemicals. I also love the way that doTERRA sources their oils. They do not grow the plants for these oils in a greenhouse somewhere in the United States. In fact, all of these oils are grown exactly in the habitat they need to be grown in, and they are picked at peak harvest time. That makes these essential oils even more powerful and potent and effective. Now that you know a little bit more about essential oils and exactly what they are and where they come from, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to use essential oils. Oils. There are three different ways to use essential oils, and the first way is aromatically. The most popular way to use your essential oils aromatically is by a diffuser. And you can just add four to six drops of essential oil. You can do one oil or a combination of oils and diffuse in your home. Another way to do aromatic use is just simply by breathing in out of the bottle or adding one to two drops of essential oil to the palm of your hand, rubbing together and cuff it over the nose and breathe in. Those are all different ways that you can use essential oils aromatically. When you use your diffuser for aromatic use, it's actually dispensing small molecules of essential oils into the air and you're reaping the benefits just by breathing them in. 
Another way to use essential oils is topically. And so you can actually take an essential oil and apply it directly to the skin, or if you have sensitive skin or you're using it on a small child, you can dilute it in a carrier oil like fractionated coconut oil. And these essential oils can be applied directly to the area of concern. So if you're trying to heal a skin imperfection, just put it straight onto that imperfection. A lot of time when you're using essential oils topically, you're gonna hear about putting it onto the bottoms of your feet. And that's because the bottom of your feet have the largest pores in your body, and that can make the essential oils reach the bloodstream quickest. Another popular place to put essential oils is on the pulse points, on the back of the neck and down the spine. Depending on what ailment you are trying to heal will depend on where you wanna apply your essential oil. The third way that you can use essential oils is internally. You could add a drop of essential oil to your water and drink it. You can place one on the tongue or you can use empty veggie capsules and make your own pills to take internally. Now I wanna put out a little disclaimer here. You cannot use every single essential oil internally. You will know that you can use doTERRA's certified pure therapeutic grade oils internally whenever you look on the back and it says supplement facts. Not all oils are intended for internal use. It's not going to necessarily hurt you, it's just better to use either topically or aromatically. Now I'm gonna jump into the top 10 essential oils that I use daily in my home and that have taken over my medicine cabinet, my cleaning products, and are really just the best way for you to get started on your essential oil journey. The first oil I'm gonna be talking about is lemon oil. Lemon oil can cleanse and purify the air and surfaces. I love using lemon essential oils for cleaning. I like to add a quarter of a cup of vinegar, 20 drops of lemon essential oil into a glass spray bottle, fill the rest with water and use that for an all-purpose cleaner. When lemon oil is diffused, it's very uplifting and energizing and may help to improve mood. Lemon oil naturally cleanses the body and it can aid in digestion. So you can take this internally for that or even just rubbing a drop of it onto the stomach. It supports a healthy respiratory function. You can take lemon internally to assist with seasonal respiratory support. Lemon essential oil can also make for a great furniture polish. Just add a few drops of lemon essential oil to some olive oil and it can help clean, protect, and shine wood finishes. For any of you that have kids that have ever stuck a sticker on a window or on a piece of furniture, and you can't get that stubborn sticky residue off, you can add a couple drops of lemon essential oil to a cotton ball and rub it on there and that will take that right away. You can use lemon essential oil for washing your hands and dishes because it's a natural degreaser. Lemon can also be used for cooking by adding a drop into dessert or a main dish to enhance the flavor. Lemon can also support a healthy GI tract and it's great for oral health benefits. The next oil I'm gonna be talking about is lavender oil. Lavender essential oil is mostly known for its calming and relaxing and soothing effects that it has on the body. I also like to use lavender on the skin. It can be great in healing skin imperfections by applying it topically to a blemish or an irritation. You can add a few drops of lavender essential oil to a water bottle and mist your blankets or pillows before bed to promote a healthy night's sleep. You can breathe lavender oil straight out of the bottle whenever you're having stress or anxious feelings to help promote calm and relaxing feelings. The third oil I'm gonna be talking about today is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is a great natural energy boost and when it's diffused, it can help with feelings of fatigue or low energy. Peppermint essential oil is also great for respiratory and digestive health. It promotes clear airways and easy breathing. You can add a drop of peppermint oil into your mouth to freshen the breath. You can also diffuse peppermint when you're trying to get a job done or you're studying for a big test because it can help you concentrate. These three oils together, lemon, lavender, and peppermint, are great for seasonal threats. So you can make a roller bottle by adding eight drops of each of these oils to a 10 ml roller bottle, top it off with fractionated coconut oil, and you can use that across the bridge of your nose, on the chest to really break up mucus and help with congestions that come on due to seasonal threats. You can also take these internally to help with that by adding one drop of each to a veggie capsule and swallowing it like a pill and taking that a few times a day whenever you have itchy eyes, runny nose, and you're trying to promote healthy breathing and clear airways and break up mucus. Next, we're gonna talk about Melaleuca essential oil. 
This one's also known as tea tree. Mount Luca is known for its cleansing and rejuvenating effects it has on the skin. So you can apply this straight to a skin imperfection or a blemish by just dabbing a little bit on your finger and just putting it right onto the area of concern. It also promotes healthy immune support. So this is one that I like to use whenever you start getting that scratch or tickle in your throat or you're just not feeling like yourself. You can apply this to the bottoms of your feet or take it internally. You can apply Melaleuca to the skin after shaving. You can use Melaleuca for refreshing by adding a couple drops to your shoes or to the bottom of your feet. Melaleuca is also great for toenail health and you can apply that directly to the toenail. It also can promote a healthy scalp, so adding a couple drops of this to your shampoo and conditioner and really massaging it into the scalp. Melaleuca is also great for cleaning, and so you can add a few drops of this to some water. You can use that to wipe down the countertop in the kitchen or in the bathroom, tables and floors. Next, we're gonna be talking about frankincense essential oil. Frankincense is the most prized essential oil because of its extensive health benefits. It can promote feelings of peace and overwhelm wellness. Frankincense helps maintain focus, so this would be a great one to diffuse with your peppermint essential oil. Frankincense supports healthy cellular function and can be taken internally daily for these benefits. Frankincense is also known for its rejuvenating properties for the skin and can help reduce skin blemishes, fine lines, and wrinkles. Frankincense can also balance the mood when used topically on pulse points and diffused. It's great for respiratory and digestive support, and it supports a healthy cardiovascular system. I like to get frankincense in my body and on my kids' bodies as much as I possibly can. And so I like to add a couple drops of frankincense to all of my roller bottles I make, and I like to add it into the diffuser. Because it has so many benefits, it's one that can be used for basically everything. It can help the other essential oils work even that much more effectively. The next oil I'm gonna be talking about is oregano oil. And I'm sure you're familiar with this one because you probably use oregano in your kitchen. And you can use oregano essential oil for cooking as well. Because essential oils are so powerful, you might not even need a whole drop of oregano to season your soup or your spaghetti sauce. So I like to suggest taking a toothpick, sticking it into the top and swirling that around into your sauce or whatever you're trying to season. Oregano is also really great for immune support. This is one that you're not going to want to put straight on the skin. You're going to want to dilute this in some fractionated coconut oil and then apply it to the area of concern. And when you take it internally, be sure to put it in a veggie capsule and not just drop it straight into the mouth. It can also calm the nervous system and it can support healthy liver function. Oregano oil can contribute to overall health and wellness and it is a powerful antioxidant. When I'm feeling a little under the weather, I like to take oregano oil internally. Be sure to only take oregano oil for 10 days and then giving your body a break before taking it again. This is a very powerful natural medicine and not one that you want to take daily. The next four essential oils I'm going to be talking about are four blends made by Dota. Terra. The first one is called Breathe, and this is doTERRA's respiratory blend. This one can be used for any type of respiratory issues. And when you're, when you're trying to support a healthy respiratory function, clear airways, and easy breathing, you can apply Breathe straight to the chest, to the bottoms of your feet, and it's a great one to diffuse overnight to help break up that mucus and to promote a good night's sleep. I use this oil often in the wintertime with my kids when we are dealing with coughs and I notice such a difference as soon as I put a few drops of this in the diffuser in their bedrooms, it just seems to really open up those airways and helps everyone just sleep more peacefully. The next blend I'm gonna be talking about is doTERRA's On Guard, and this is the protective blend. So this one is great for immune support. I like to make an immune boosting roller bottle with eight drops of On Guard essential oil and two drops each of your frankincense, melaleuca, and oregano in a 10 ml roller bottle and top it off with fractionated coconut oil. On Guard essential oil is that one that you're gonna to wanna to use whenever you're exposed to a sickness or you're around a lot of people and there's lots of germs around. This is one that I like to put on my kids before we head into the church nursery or we go on play dates. On Guard can also be taken internally whenever you feel a sickness coming on. Taking On Guard internally or applying it topically can help 
support a healthy immune system. The next blend I'm gonna be talking about is doTERRA's Digestin, and this is the digestive blend. This one can be taken internally and used topically to help reduce bloating, gas, and indigestion, and ease feelings of queasiness. This is a great one to apply before a road trip or after a heavy meal. It can soothe occasional stomach discomfort and it can be taken internally to support a healthy GI tract. The way I use this oil most is just topically straight onto the stomach when we're dealing with any type of tummy discomfort. The last oil I'm gonna be talking about today is doTERRA's Deep Blue and this is their soothing blend. You can apply deep blue to the back after heavy lifting. It's a great one to apply to the fingers and the shoulders and the wrist after a long day of typing. Deep blue would be awesome for a pre and post exercise massage. It has a very cooling effect and it can help relieve tension in the body. You can dilute this and apply it to a growing child's legs before bedtime. You can apply deep blue straight to the neck if you're experiencing stiffness or tension. Deep blue is best for topical use and you want to apply this to the area of discomfort. I'm going to share with you some of my favorite blends that I like to use with these top 10 essential oils. So like I said before, I like to use lemon, lavender, and peppermint for seasonal threats. I actually have a video on this and I will link that in the description below. I like to use frankincense, melaleuca, and lavender for a clear skin roller bottle. These three are all great for the skin and I also have a video on this one that I'll link in the description below so you know exactly how to make that roller bottle. For my immune boosting roller bottle, I like to use the On Guard Oregano Frankincense and Melaleuca by adding eight drops of On Guard and two drops each of Oregano Frankincense and Melaleuca and this would be a great one to apply on the bottoms of the feet and down the spine when you're trying to promote healthy immune support. For a restful night's sleep, I like to use lavender and frankincense in the diffuser. And if it's during times of coughing, congestion, or seasonal threats, I like to add breathe to that as well. I use these essential oils in my home daily, and I want to help you get these essential oils into your house. The best way and the best price to get these essential oils into your home is starting off with either doTERRA's Home Essential Kit or doTERRA's Family Essentials Kit. The Home Essentials Kit comes with all these top 10 oils in the large 15 ml bottles and it also comes with a diffuser. The Family Essentials Kit comes with all of these top 10 essential oils in the smaller bottles and it also comes with peppermint and on guard beadlets. Beadlets are dissolvable little pills that you can take internally. By starting off with one of these kits, you're going to get wholesale pricing for a full year so you can add more essential oils to your collection at cost. You will also have access to my VIP Facebook group where we have live essential oil education and themed classes every month so I can support you and you feel empowered to use your essential oils daily in your home. I will have a link in the description below so you can check out these two starter sets. Also in the description below, I will have my email address. Email me with any questions and ask me about my current monthly promotions. Thank you so much for watching my natural solutions class. I hope this was helpful and I'm excited to help you get started on your essential oil journey. For more essential oil education, DIY recipes, and natural remedies, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for stopping by our oily house.